Hello and welcome back to the studio. I'm going to demo how I make a bowl called a panchon, which is like a bread, big bread mixing bowl. So we start off with three kilograms of clay, which I've wedged, which means like I've needed to take all the air bubbles out of it and to get it into the right shape. So the first job is to centre the piece of clay. So just chuck it in the middle of the wheel and I'm going to spend a moment just tapping the edges off it, make sure it's attached to the, to the head of the wheel. This takes the time, takes a bit of time. And it's important to spend the time getting it right at the beginning. Otherwise it makes it more complicated later on. disc called a bat and then I attach the clay to the wooden disc which means at the end of the making process I can pick the bat up as opposed to trying to pick the pot up but sometimes they don't stick all that well straight away See there, I've got a nice little molehill shape of clay. So the next stage is to compress the clay into the wheel. Take all the edges off to make sure there's and make sure there's no air bubbles. So you can see I'm just pushing down, I'm using my elbows to support my hands on my knees. And I'm just gently pushing down and pulling it up. is terracotta clay which means it's earthenware fight to a really low temperature it's full of it's full of iron which gives it a earthy brown color This is me prepping the clay now, that's me centering the clay, making sure there's no wobbly bits, no lumpy bits or anything like that. So that's ready now for me to push down to make a hole on the inside and to open the clay up. So for this part I use the, the heel of my hand, straight arms and then I'm just going to go straight down. And as I push down I'm going to push out like that. starting to find the base now, the bottom of the pot. Still quite a lot of clay there, so a little bit more pressure. Compress that clay and get a nice thickness. Not too thick, not too thin.
So I'm still pushing, I'm using the sponge, I'm just with a little bit of water in there and I'm just pushing and spreading the clay out to the side. There's a little air bubble in there, so I'm gonna get a tool to cut it out. This tool should I use? This one. This is important to find these and dig them out. Otherwise your pots will blow up in the kiln. Okay, so that's a good start to this pan chan. I'm gonna fold the sides in now and make it a little bit taller. So I do that by holding it, supporting the outside with both hands. And put a little bit of water on this left hand. And then I'm just gently, really controlled and consistent pressure, squeeze the sides in. Keeping that pressure, I'm just gonna lift my hands at the same time. There we go. So I'm not doing too much too soon, just a little by little. So I'm using my left hand now. Fingers on the inside, thumb on the outside, I'm gonna support it with my knuckle on my right hand, and I'm gonna push in like this which creates a bubble of clay above my knuckle, which I'm gonna pull through the pot. And that's the thickness. That's how I'm gonna create the consistent thickness on the bottom of the top. So we're going up now a lot. And a massive pull, just a little bit of pressure. Traditionally, these panchons have got rolled tops which means they got a hollow inside. So I'm just gonna fold that top over like this. I'm just using the sponge on the inside now to create a nice the shape that I want on the inside. These are great for making pasta, uh, making salads. Use them a lot in the house. And then I go back to my trusty tool just to shave the excess clay off the bottom. So just gently offer that up to the pot and then just take all that excess clay off. Put the 
this up. I'm going to show you now. Easy.